Hello anybody, I am Canadian, and today we are doing a Q&A-ish kind of thing. So, Amber found my Facebook page, which I guess I'll put in the description. I think I should put all the links in the description. Should I just do that? I think I should just leave all the links in the description. If, yeah, whatever, I'll just, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm going to put all the links in the description now. And she asked me a few questions about myself, and I was like, you know what? Why don't you just give me a huge amount of questions, and I'll just answer them in, like, a video. And so she gave me a bunch of questions, and yeah. So I'm thinking maybe, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. We're answering, I'm answering all of Amber's questions that she gave me, except for, like, a couple, because I don't want to answer a couple of them. So... First is, what's my name? And I'll give it, I'll give the first name only. My first name is Kyle. And that's all you're getting. Well, yeah, you guys will probably hear my full name or something in a video at one point in the future, so. You only get Kyle right now. My age, I'm 19. What am I doing at the time, like school and college? So, I finished school and I applied to college and I didn't get accepted. I was going to be put on a wait list that a fic like it was a wait list for a class that might not may or may not happen was the thing. So they asked if I wanted to be on that wait list and I was like, nah, no. I'm okay. And then I looked for a job and I applied to a few jobs and did the interview and they never called back so that's why I started doing YouTube because YouTube can't tell me that I can't do this well they can but I'd have to be a really really bad human being to be told I can't make videos by YouTube but yeah here's a little wet is I just washed it. Okay, where in Canada do I live? I am in Ontario, about an hour north of Barrie, in an area called Seguin, which is near, well, it's like part, eh, no, it's beside Perry Sound, because Seguin's a region, and Perry Sound's a town, so I'm in the region, or the township of Seguin. And if you don't know where Barrie is, it is an hour and a half north of Toronto. So I live like two and a half hours north of Toronto. Two and a half, three hours. Depends on how you feel like driving. What is my favorite animal? Hmm. Komodo dragon. Just because it's like a dragon. It's like real. It's the realest equivalent to a dragon we have. And it was believed, I think it was their ancestors were what was mistaken as dragons, or what inspired the lore of dragons and stuff. Because they were huge. Like, it's just this huge lizard. And then exaggerations happen, and suddenly they grow wings and can breathe fire and stuff. Yeah. Or at least that's what I remember reading somewhere. Or another thing said that they were smaller than the normal Komodo dragon. Well, no, there's a... Uh... There's an ancestor of the monitor lizard that was like six feet long. Yeah. So Komodo dragon. The second would probably be wolf. Because I like wolves. I like dogs. I like any canines. The first video game I played. Okay. Um, the first game I played would probably have been... Some of the games that I played, well, some of the first games I played as a kid were on Sega Genesis, because we had a Sega Genesis when I was a kid. I guess it was before I was born, because it would have been for my brother, and then I would have been bored, and I would have played them as well. So I had stuff like Desert Demolition. Uh, that was Looney Tunes. Then you got Tiny Toon All-Stars, and it was like a sports game where you'd play as all the Tiny Toons. So that was fun. And... 
Road Rash 3D. Yeah. Well, it says Road Rash 3, but I'm thinking, I thought it was Road Rash 3D. No, 3D was the one that came after it on, like, uh, I don't know. I think it was the console. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. It was one of the consoles. Also, this game, Road Rash 3, had blood and you were a biker and you would hit people with like bats and pipes and stuff and knock them off. Which is what that game, uh, Road Redemption, that that Kickstarter went on about. That's on, I think, Green Light. I think it was Green Light. On Steam. Road Redemption is like a spiritual successor of Road Rash. And it was for kids. It was ages six and up, this game. You would hit people with bats and stuff. So that really shows how much the age uh, restrictions and stuff have changed. Yeah, my favorite game at the moment. Oh, I'd have to say Skyrim right now. Mainly because I just got it on PC, the Legendary Edition. So I have a lot of mods on it. And it's so much fun with the game being completely redesigned because I'm using Skyrim Redone, which, like, makes the perch, perk trees go from, like, 10, 12 perks to, like, 40 perks. There's so much more. And it, like, uncaps all the levels and stuff, so you can level up your skill to, like, 200. I think it's, it's changes it from 100 max to 200 max or 300 max. I can't remember. And then the perk trees... Are affected with that, plus frostfall, which makes it so you can die in the winter and stuff, like from cold temperatures, and so you need to make campfires and stuff and survive. Yeah, it's really cool. I like it. I'd suggest it to anyone that's played Skyrim and needs Skyrim to be different. My favorite color, red. As you can obviously see from everything around me, my favorite color is red. But, uh, actually, hold on. See that? Camera's red camera yeah I don't know if you could see that I hope you did my camera the camera I record with is red and I picked it red even though it was like five dollars more I picked the red one yeah favorite drink so non-alcoholic um I'd say coca-cola oh Coca-Cola or coffee? No, if we're counting hot drinks, like normal. So get rid of Coca-Cola. Coffee and tea. Considering that's like 80% of what I drink. In fact, I have a coffee right here. <sighs> coffee. Uh, alcoholic though. Mostly any coolers. I like coolers. Coolers are good. Wine is bad. Beer is bad. Hard liquor is bad. Coolers are good. Because they have flavors to them. And I like them. I like my drink to actually have something... Like a taste to it. That doesn't feel like you're punishing yourself. Who is your best friend? Mmm. I don't know. I don't really think I do best friends, because that means you have to organize who your friends are in, like, an order, and I don't like ordering how close friends are. I can just list off friends I have. There's Francois, or 404 Gamer, who I played Slender with. This is the same person, that's what I'm saying, or, or giving his other name, like his YouTube name. Actually, I don't think he's using that anymore. He wanted to do something else. He came up with a different name. Hey, if you're watching this, what's your new channel name? Because I kind of want to know that. Yeah. Uh, there's Sam, or the Fresh Salmon. Uh, there's Jake, and he's with Flying Moose Studios, which is like an actual film Kind of like the small film company he does, he has. That's just the one, the three I want to name off that I can give a YouTube channel for. Um, yeah. Do you have any pets? 
Yes, I do. I have a dog. His name is Vinny. Though, all the pets I've had, I've had three dogs, one cat, an iguana, about 20 fish. I think we've had like three hamsters, gerbils, guinea pigs. So Vinny's a golden lab. Heinz, 57. He looks like a gold, like a purebred golden lab, except he has a pink nose. But he's a combination of pretty much any every dog breed you know, like large dog breed. One of my other dogs, Bear, was a German Shepherd, long-haired. Oh, he's so fluffy. Oh. And my other dog was Max, and he was a Shih Tzu. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your life? Eight or nine. Life is great. I've got this channel. I can make videos for all you people. That's pretty great. I have people that'll actually watch these videos now. That's even greater. Yeah, life is pretty good. The only downside is this channel is literally my only source of income. And that's about $10 a month. So I'm pretty poor. Yeah. What's a childhood memory you wish to relive? Uh, I don't know. Childhood memory? I actually don't know any childhood memory I want to relive. I don't... I actually don't remember much of my childhood. Maybe that's because in school I was always that really quiet kid sitting in the corner and stuff, never really talking. Because... As a kid... Well, actually, I still do. I have ADD. So I always had to take medicine to be calm in class and everything. So a lot of my class, like, a lot of my childhood, I, it was just me sitting there going. So yeah, pretty boring childhood. Not much happened. I'm pretty happy now. My life is great. See, that my childhood would probably be more of a five or six. My life is pretty great now. And I actually have something that I can put energy into. I've been really, like, those Let's Play videos, they seem pretty boring and blah, blah, blah. Because all that was recorded before that Five Nights at Freddy's video. So a lot of it was me being calm and just sitting there going, huh, oh, welcome to Half-Life, We. So yeah, you'll probably see the enthusiasm increase when it comes back next week. So, no, there's no part I want to relive answering your question. Yeah. What was the last picture you took? Hmm. Last picture I took? Uh... Your questions. <laughs> I had to take a picture of them on here because I don't have my computer here. My computer's downstairs. And I didn't want to carry it all the way up here just to record this. So I took pictures of your questions. Uh, but... Uh, you know what? The last picture I took? Like, legitimately? was this. Yeah. Cards Against Humanity. Because that's what I played on the weekend. So this here says, what was the weirdest complaint you ever received? So, I don't know if you meant compliment or complaint, so I'll give both. Complaint. Hmm. What was the weirdest complaint I ever received? Like, can YouTube comments count as a complaint? Because I've gotten a lot of about my voice that it was so smooth that it made them ill. That was the weirdest one I've ever gotten. That my voice was so soothing that someone felt ill from my voice. That was kind of weird. Pretty funny though, reading that. That was entertaining. <laughs> but, yeah. And then the weirdest compliment. I've gotten a lot of the weirdest ones. I don't know what I would use for the weirdest. I, well, if we went YouTube comments again, it'd be all the people that I sound like. I've gotten Cry. I've gotten a character from Naruto. Uh, I sound like a character from Supernatural. 
Uh, yeah, it's mostly about my voice again. People really, people, my, I apparently have a very love it or hate it voice. But in real life, the weirdest complaint I've gotten, or compliment, uh, it's probably been about my hair. Now the compliment, uh, you have no idea how many times in public I've had people call me a beautiful young lady. Because I have long hair. So people instantly see that, and they haven't adjusted that people, like guys can have long hair and girls can have short hair. So I'll be out in public with my girlfriend, and we would go to, like, a store. That, okay, yeah, story. All right. So we went to a store, and we walked in. And the person at the cash register looked at us, like... And then all they said was, Gentlemen. And then my girlfriend, because she has short hair, she turned to him and went, Uh... And he heard her voice, and he went, Oh! Ladies, and I went, um, and he went, welcome. <laughs> oh no, I know. Okay, even better. Weirdest compliment? Well, I've gotten used to it now. Just like the hair and being called a girl thing. I've kind of gotten used to that. It's not so like, whoa, what? is that me and my girlfriend look like brother and sister. We get that way more often than we probably should since I don't see the resemblance too much. I don't know, it's weird. But funny at the same time. Yeah, story time's over. What is your perfect pizza? I'd have to say meat lovers because I like bacon, 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 ham, pepperoni, sausage, just all on a pizza is the best. There's just so many good flavors to it. That or just plain pepperoni and cheese pizza. That's good too. Meat lovers or pepperoni or just cheese, cheese pizza <gasps> or spinach. What is the best thing to wake up to in your opinion? Coffee. Waking up, oh, or do you mean like waking up to like the smell of something? Because I like waking up to the smell of bacon. Because everybody likes waking up to the smell of bacon. Bacon's amazing. Uh, or the smell of coffee. I don't know. Mainly because I don't wake up to anything. I just wake up. I wake up to the, I wake up to the sunrise. Ish. Yeah. So, yeah. Just coffee or bacon. Not too choosy. Have you met anyone famous? Well, I've met Meatloaf, the singer, because I was in a movie, I was a background in a movie with him. I like to, but it's kind of like a you know how everyone just runs up and goes, Oh my god, it's you! I'm your biggest fan! Ah! And I'm like, Oh my god, if I ever did that, that would be really weird, and I don't think they would like me if I did that. So I just kind of like walk up to them and say, Hi. Cool. Because I can imagine how overwhelming that must be, having people running up to you like that. Do you have a nickname that you hated, or that you just suddenly had? I don't think I've ever had a nickname I've hated. But I've had Kai. Someone has started calling me Kana. Because of Canadian. And a friend of mine has started calling me Kohai Kun. Because senpai kun and kohai kun senpai is like your senior and then kohai is like the like the student like senpai is older and then kohai is the younger so i keep getting called kohai kun by him what was the worst pickup line in your opinion i don't know because i don't really bother with pickup lines because the only time i've 
ever said them is just because they're so painfully cheesy. That's hilarious for ironic purposes. Ah, the worst pickup line. I don't know, it's always that's those ones that's like, Hey, are you an... Did you fall from heaven because you're an angel or something like that? Like, really bad ones. Or like, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only ten I see. <laughs> They're terrible. I hate pickup lines. They're so bad. <laughs> What's your favorite song? Okay, so I listen to a lot of music. And so if you looked at my iTunes, I have about 6,000 songs. I have a lot of music. Um, right now, it's Mega Kitsune by Baby Metal or something by Hollywood Undead. Just anything. In fact, anything by Baby Metal is good too. I like Baby Metal. God, Baby Metal should come to Canada. They came to Toronto, but then I never knew that they were going to Toronto. Oh my God, Baby Metal has to come to Ontario. Like, for an actual tour across, like, North America or something. Because they did one, but then, they, yeah, like I said, they only came to Toronto. <sighs> or Starbomb. Starbomb's pretty good. I like Starbomb. I listen to a lot of music. What cheers you up when you're sad? The lovely comments that all of you people give me. No, that's so bad. That's so cheesy. It's like a pickup line. Oh, uh, well, no, some of those comments. Reading comments is pretty nice. I like reading comments. Comments are always nice. Even though there's only like three a day. It's still nice to read them. Except for the terrible ones. I delete those. If they're really bad. Uh, what cheers me up? Anime. I don't think it really matters how dark the anime is. If I watch anime, just seeing all the adorable characters and stuff, it usually cheers me up. I think even Dead Man's Wonderland cheered me up. And that's just like a prison where people kill each other. Cats or dogs? Dogs. That's why I have a dog. I like dogs. Zombies or vampires? Are we picking, like, films, or would I rather be, or what? Because films, I like zombies more, because, like, with media, I like zombies more, because the good movies and bad movies, and good games and bad games. But with vampires, uh, I think Nosgoth, or Nosgoth, Oh, and Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. So, if I had to pick, I would say zombies for media. And if I was to be one, vampires are better than zombies. Because you would kind of be like a brainless thing if you were a zombie. And with a vampire, you'd be like this cool, oogity boogity, prowling in the night. You could just fly, too. You could fly. Yeah. What is the longest amount of time you've been without sleep? I can't remember the reason, but I was awake for 48 hours. Oh man, that was a bad time. <laughs> oh man. At one point I was just like... I was just sitting there watching videos. And I think I just like completely zoned out. I don't remember anything from the video. But I was just sitting there watching it. And about two or three hours passed. It was a bad time. <laughs> And then another time, I think I watched uh, One of Cry's... Or I, I watched um, Cry play Nino Kuni when he did like that full-length stream. And I think I slept like an, a couple hours while he was doing that. And just had it on the, the TV and stuff, and I was just watching it. But that doesn't really count, because I slept in between it. Yeah. Do you have an item that's been with you your whole life? Ah, uh, yes. I have... A teddy bear that I've had my entire life. Well, no, actually I've had him since I was like... Because my parents got me a blue bear when I was born. And apparently I absolutely hated it. So then they gave it to my brother and I got another bear. 
named Theodore, because he had like a little tag on him with his name and stuff, and it was like actually sewn on. Like it was an old bear, too. It wasn't like just some plastic pin thing on him. It was like actually sewn on and stuff with his name. Yeah, so I've had him my entire life. In fact, I think he's behind the camera somewhere on the floor over there. And I have a crochet of four dinosaurs that I've, that my grandma made me a long time ago. Yeah, so that's about the oldest things I have. And they're also in the best shape of anything I have. <laughs> what is your favorite word or phrase? I don't think I have a favorite word or phrase. I actually don't. I don't have a favorite phrase. I don't think I say something all the time. Like, I don't think I have, like, a catchphrase or whatever. Uh, but... No, I don't have a favorite word either. Weird. I never thought about that. Camera died. So, yeah. That's another reason why I don't do face cam. Is because this camera's battery is very bad. Like, it lasts 20 minutes. And recording only records for, like, 12 minutes. So, yeah, this camera always has to be charged and everything, so I think I'll get a camcorder then. I could do a face cam if you guys want. I don't know. Back to questions. Also, I'm in a different spot. See? Uh, and there's that dog I was talking about. Javini. Javini. Okay, so back to questions. Yeah, so I don't have a favorite word or phrase. What are you most afraid of? Uh, heights. Heights. I am most afraid of heights. I don't like elevators because it's a metal box suspended with cables above a drop that could kill you. Uh, I don't like looking over railings. I don't like open designs. So if a mall has two floors and I can see out across that second floor of that mall, out to like the ground, uh, it makes me feel freaking weird and I don't like it. Uh, my entire body starts to shake. Um, so, yeah, that's also a part that I don't like, because if I want to travel somewhere, I'm going to have to get on a plane, and that's going to put me way high in the air, and, oh, God, that'll just be terrible. Yeah, I don't like heights. I don't like elevators. If I have an option, I'll take the stairs. Oh, and water. Uh, well, not so much a fear of water. Well, I don't like deep water. I don't like it where I don't know where the bottom is. Like, a pool I'm okay with, but if I can't see the bottom... It kind of freaks me out because I don't know what's down there. Who do you look up to? Um, I don't really, the people I look up to are YouTubers. And that's the whole reason I started, like, I wanted to do YouTube is because I looked at all these people and went, wow, these people are amazing. I mainly look up to Markiplier, actually. Uh, mainly because he does all that work for charity and I'm sitting here and it's like, you know, one day I want to be able to raise money for charities and stuff like it just seems like such a great thing to do to give back when everyone else gives you so much and so much joy giving that joy back to others in the form of donations to charities i don't know where i was going with that but yeah uh markiplier and cry cry too he gets people's attention with just talking yeah, that's originally who inspired me to do YouTubing. YouTubing? To, who inspired me to do YouTube was Cry, because I sat there and went, you know what, I don't have to be a face, I don't have to be screaming in a microphone to make people interested in stuff. And then I realized I was following him too much, but, and then... <sighs> so, the enthusiasm that Markiplier has... I have that energy inside me, but because of all these years of having, or all those years of having ADD medication, it has suppressed any energy I have to put out there because no one wanted that energy out. School just built that into my brain, that joy, happiness, excitement, all that energy is bad and you don't want all that energy. So I'm slowly getting it back out. Like, if you went up back to, like, my first videos and then compared it to now, I have put a bit more, like, I've gotten enthusiasm. Compared to me right now, there's a lot more enthusiasm to me 
seen on the internet than what was back then. So yeah, uh, that's who inspires me, is Markiplier, because he's such a great person. And one day I'd love to sit and play a game with him. That'd be great. But, eh. There's like a small chance of that happening. But hey, that's what I'm going to strive for. Is to one day meet Mark. That will be my goal. In like, for the next, what, four years? God, that's a big goal. <sighs> Let's strive for that. I'm going to strive to make enough money to one day conquer my fear of airplanes to go to a PAX event and meet Mark. And that will be the greatest day of my YouTube life. Maybe. I don't know. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is the strangest thing you've eaten? Ooh. What is the strangest thing I've eaten? I had squid on the weekend. Well, not like squid, but I had like uh, dehydrated squid. Oh, kelp. Uh, grilled kelp or grilled seaweed. It was like these tube things. They were like these grilled seaweed things. And then the first one was really good and it was like, wow, this is amazing. And then we had our second one. And it was um, paprika, and it was so like strangling, like it choked you tasting it, and it burned so much for paprika. It was weird. It was so weird. Uh, or those, ooh, the weirdest. Um, those, uh, it's Japanese, these, uh, what are they called? I wanted to talk about it in the video earlier. Um, they're these, like, little, uh, they're powder things. You mix these powders together to create stuff, and it, like, makes a meal. Like, uh, we had the, I can't remember what they were called. You'd mix it up, all these different things, and you could, like, make this, uh, oct it was obviously octopus or squid. And then you'd bake, like, these little balls, and then you could put, like, a seasoning on top, and then you'd put that in, and then you put mayo over top. Like, this little, this thing of mayo. It was weird because it tasted like real food and it was just powder and water combined and it made like this full, like real food and it was the strangest thing I've ever eaten. So yeah, probably that. Where was your last holiday? I don't really go anywhere for holidays. I actually just stay around here. In fact, my entire, the rest of my family goes away on holidays and I get to watch that dog all the time. It's fantastic, welcome to my life. I get to stay home and watch that dog all the time and that's normally when I can record videos because there aren't loud people in my house but the last time I actually went away like far away was it was only like it was five hours north to Kirkland Lake to meet my sister that I didn't know I had until like that year it was interesting it was fun I have nieces that I never knew about until then it was really cool What's your favorite movie or TV show? Favorite movie right now is the Lego movie. I like the Lego movie. I liked Frozen. For some reason, everyone hated it because of how talked about it was. But because the movie came out when I wasn't in school, no one was talking about it. So I like watched it and it was like, wow, this is a great movie. I like a lot of Pixar movies. Disney, Pixar. Frozen isn't Pixar. No. Yes? No. It's Disney. Yeah, whatever. And Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Because I read the books and they're amazing. And the movie, for once, a movie that's good that was based on a book. Yeah. Uh, TV show? Adventure Time. Uh, Gotham. Gotham is great. And season two is supposed to have the doll maker that was in, like, the second episode. The villain that was, like, or the people that were kidnapping kids for the doll maker. And the doll maker is supposed to show up in season two. That sounds awesome. So there's something to look forward to. And then the rest of the TV I watch is mostly anime. So it's a lot of anime. Do you ever get the urge to break a window? Nope. I never get the urge to break a window because if you broke a window, there would be glass in your hand and that would hurt. Uh, hitting walls, yes. Walls or tables. Those are better. Those won't dig into your hands and cut your hands and so much pain and bleeding like a window would. Windows are fragile. Tables aren't. Or walls. 
so you can kind of hit those. Those are okay. But don't do it. Unless, I don't know. It's bad advice. Yeah! <laughs> if you suddenly turned into a spider, what would you do first? If I was a spider, I would climb up the wall, going Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a Spider-Man can. And then I'd just go into a corner and make a web and then just watch people. If you woke up a girl, what would you do first? If I woke up a girl, cosplay. Probably cosplay. What did you last eat? Uh, I last ate spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti. And then before that, the most Canadian thing you can have, poutine. So yeah, that's the questions. Uh, yeah, so thanks for asking all those questions. Uh, and anyone that's watching this, I will have the link for the Facebook page and every other page I have in the description. And if you want your own personalized, super cool Q&A, yeah, where you get your name and stuff in it, yeah, even though no one really probably wants to do that. But if you want to do that, uh, you can go to the Facebook page and message me all your questions and put what you want me to call you in the, 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 the message. And you'll get your own personalized Q&A. Or something. Probably. Yeah. If you ask me a lot of questions, you'll probably get your own Q&A. But if you ask like two, then I'll probably throw it in with another person that has asked like two or something. I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching. And I will talk to you in the next video. See ya.